In this video, we are going to learn how you can add the bulk selling feature in your WordPress e-commerce site. So let's get started. So as you can see, we have an e-commerce website over here. You can see we have some products. So let's visit our product page. These are our product and you can see that we have the retail price. Here is the single product page. Now we are going to go back to our WordPress admin dashboard and in order to add the bulk selling feature and other B2B and wholesale feature, we have used a plugin called Wholesale X. Now Wholesale X has a free version that you can work with, but the pro version gives you even more feature. There are three plans and you can get either the yearly or lifetime plans. The lifetime plans seem a bit more expensive, but since this is a one-time payment, this is the better deal in my opinion. So there are three plans, the starter, business, and agency. If you want, you can also get any of the yearly or annual plans. Now we already have got the pro version of Wholesale X, and you can see that we have all the wholesale and B2B features from Wholesale X. Now before we go on and add the bulk selling feature or the bulk order form, we are going to add some wholesale and B2B features in our WordPress e-commerce site. For starters, we want to add a wholesale price to all our products. To do that, we're going to go to the dynamic rules. From here, you can see we have no dynamic rules. We're going to create a dynamic rule just by clicking on this button. We're going to write the rule title over here. We're going to call it global wholesale price. And from the rule type, we can choose various types such as product discount, cart discount, payment method discount, required quantity for payment method, and much more. But we are going to choose the product discount option. From here, we can also specify the user roles to whom this dynamic rule will apply to. So we are going to choose all registered users. And next, in the product filter, we can choose for which products we want to apply this rule on. We can choose all products, we can choose products in list, product not in the list, categories in the list, categories not in the list, attribute in list, attribute not in the list. So there are various ways of selecting the products. If we choose product in the list, here you can choose the individual product where you want to add this wholesale price on. You can also choose product not in list, then you can specifically choose which products this rule won't apply to. All right. But for our case, we want to choose the all products. We want to add a global wholesale price. So in case you have hundreds of products in your site and adding the wholesale price to all those products might be difficult. In that case, you can choose all products. OK, so from here, we're going to choose a discount and we're going to choose a 10 percent discount here. We're going to call it 10 percent discount. Now, you can also add in conditions such as total quantity, total value, total weight. If you want to add conditions, you can select it from here. So we'll take a look at this later on as this is optional. You can also apply a date and limit rule. If you want this rule to last for a certain period of time, you can choose the start date and end date. But we're not going to choose any date and limit rule. We're simply going to click on save. And once this is saved, we are going to publish it. And we have to click on save. All right, now let's go back. And you can see that we have created a rule. Now let's visit our store and see if it's applying or not. And you can see all our products have the wholesale price. You can see the retail price is $45, but the wholesale price is $40.50 for this particular product. So that is how you can apply the wholesale price to your store products. With this, you also now know how the dynamic rules feature work. Now there's another issue. Normally with a wholesale site, you might want to hide the retail or wholesale price from certain groups of user. With Wholesale X, that is also possible and we're going to see how it can be done. So we are going to go back to our dashboard and see how you can do it. And from here, we're going to go to Wholesale X and click on settings. From here, we're going to choose the price. And from here, we have three options over here. Hide retail price, hide wholesale price, show login to view price on product listing page. And finally, there's another option, which is show login to view price on single product page. So we're not going to look at all of these, but just a few of these. So if we hide the retail price and click on save changes, let's see what happens. You can see only the wholesale price is now visible and the retail price is hidden. Now, if we disable this option and hide the wholesale price, now let's click on save changes. Now visit our store. We can see the wholesale price is now hidden. Now, if we disable this feature and enable show login to view price on product listing page, now all the guest users or all the non-registered users 
we'll see something different. And let's click on save changes. Now let's log out of our admin account and see how this looks like. Okay, I've logged out of my admin dashboard and now you can see it's saying login to see prices. So that is how you can hide your retail price or wholesale price from certain users. Another thing I want to show you is the multi-tiered pricing. So if we go to our product section and add new product and Let's not actually create a new product. Let's actually edit an existing product that will be much better for us. So this product button fern, we're going to edit it. And right below pricing, we can see there are two options over here. These are actually two groups of users that we have on our Wholesale X site, B2C users and guest users. So if you want to add new user groups, you have to go to Wholesale X, go to user and create a user group. All right. But since these two are already created, I'm going to use this as an example to show you how the multi-tiered pricing work. So I'm going to expand this and I'm going to click on add price tier. And from here, I'm going to choose a discount type. So I'm going to choose a discount percentage. I'm going to provide a B2C user price. So it's $45. Let's give them a discount. I'm going to set $42 and the minimum order quantity. I'm going to set 10. Now let's add another one discount percentage. Now I'm going to set $40 if they purchase um, 20 of these product. Okay. Add another one discount percentage. And this time it will be $38 if they purchase 30 of these. All right. Now we can click on update. Now this rule will apply to all the B2C users. Now that brings us to another feature, which is the user registration form. Of course, you want your users to register to your site. Okay. In that case, Wholesale X gives you the registration form. Here is the registration form. You can design the form a little bit. You can enable the form title. You can show the login form as well. You can also choose a style for your form. So there are several styles over here. We can choose the style two. There's the style three. So there are various styles. I'm going to go with the default one. You can also change the color settings, typography settings. You can customize the size and spacing of the form. And after you're done, you can click on save changes. And now if you want, you can also get short codes. So if we click on short codes, it will give us the global form. We can get the login form. We can get only the B2B global form or B2C user user form. Okay. So what I want to do is get the global form, right? So let's copy this short code. Now we already have an account page, but we don't have a registration page. So let's go ahead and create a registration page. We're going to click on add new page and we're going to add a title. We're going to call it registration and now we're going to add our short code. But before that, we need to choose a short code block. So here it is. We are going to add our short code over here. Now we pasted our short code over here and also we did something else. What we did is we added some spacer over here. Then we created a section and then we added the short code block within the section. And then we added some padding and margin left from here. Okay. Now what we're going to do is publish this page. Now we can view the page and you can see that this looks very weird right now. But if we log out, we can see how this really looks like. Now we have logged out and you can see that our registration form is looking a lot better. Here is the login form. Your users can log in using their username or email address, adding the password and they can click on log in. They can also register by adding their email address, their password. Then they can also select which role they want to register as and finally click on the register button to register to your site. So that is how you can create a registration form in Wholesale X and add that registration and login form to your site. Now we copied the short code of the global registration form with the login form. You can use other short codes if you want. Okay. Now we also want to add this page on our menu. So we're going to go to appearance, click on menus, and we have to ensure that we are choosing the primary navigation. Now we are going to add the registration page. Okay. Now we're going to click on save menu. Now, if we take a look at our site, you can see the registration page is over here. So our users can register from here. Now that takes care of that. And now let's and the bulk order form, which is an advanced feature and only available in Wholesale X Pro. So that's a reason where you might want to get the pro version of this plugin. So we're going to go back to our dashboard. And from here, we're going to go to Wholesale X and click on add-ons. From here, you can see there are so many add-ons available for us. We're going to enable the bulk order form. And here is the bulk order form. You can customize some of these settings. 
such as the clear order form session after saving purchase list. You can clear cart page session after saving purchase list. You can disable filter on bulk order form and other options. So we don't want to actually mess around with these options. We simply want to copy this bulk order form shortcode, click on save changes. Now, before we go ahead and see if this is working, we need to visit the account page and the account page isn't showing up on our menu. So for that, we're going to go to appearance again, go to menus, and we have the My Accounts page over here. We're going to add it. And I'm going to remove this Our Story because it's taking up too much space. Now let's click on Save Menu. And now let's visit our page. And we can see the My Account option over here. We're going to visit it. You can find your bulk order form over here uh, along with the purchase list. Now what if you want to add a separate page for bulk order? You can also do that. So we're going to do that. We're going to go to back to our dashboard. And we're going to go to All Pages and Add New Page. And here we're going to add the bulk order form title. So it's bulk order. Now let's add our short code. Great, we have added the short code. Now let's click on publish. And now let's view our page. So this is our bulk order form. From here, we can choose our product category. We can also add product. So let's add some products. All right, and we want 10 of these. And we're going to add another product. And we want 20 of these. Okay. Then we can also save our order list and we can name our order. So our order list has been saved. Now we can click on add to cart and this will be added to our cart. And now you can see it's visible over here. So that is how you can add the bulk order form. Now, if you want, you can also add the bulk order form in your menu or any other sections. Basically, you know how this works. Now, I actually haven't shown you how it looks like from the my account page. So let's go to my account section and open up the bulk order form. And if we click on the bulk order, here is the bulk order form. Your customers can also order your products from here as well. Now you know how to create a page for your bulk order and your customers can access their bulk order from here and they can also view their purchase list. So if we go to our purchase list, here is our purchase list. They can just download it or view list and order again. Okay, so that is how the bulk order form works. Now, I also want to show you the request a quote and conversation feature as well, because that is very important for our wholesale or B2B site. So for that, we have to go to wholesale X and go to add ons. And then you enable the request a quote and conversations add on together. So before you enable the request a quote, make sure to enable the conversations add on first, then enable the request a quote add on. Okay. And then after you refresh your page, you can see the conversation and codes will appear over here. So we also enable the sub accounts add on because we want to show you how this feature works as well. So after you enable these two, go back to your site. Now we're going to visit the shop page and we're going to buy this product. So let's say we want to buy 100 of this product. We're going to click on add to cart and now let's view the cart. And you can see there's a request code button over here. So if we click on it, we can add a code title, an email, phone number, and message. So let's go ahead and fill these out. Okay, so we filled these out. We entered some dummy texts over here. Now we're going to click on submit. Okay. Now this takes us to the conversation and code section of our account page. Okay, you can see we added 100 quantity and now we want a quotation. So let's go ahead and see how this looks like in the back end. So in the whole selects, we can see there's a conversation code notification. Here we can see there's one conversation. We can edit it, we can mark it resolve or we can force delete. So if we want, we can open it up and here is the quotation. So we can write a message over here and we can click on send message. So let's go ahead and do it. We added some dummy text. Now let's click on send message. And this can be seen in the my account section. So after the conversation is done, we can make an offer. So once we click on it, we will be directed to the order section of WooCommerce. From here, we can edit this item. We can choose the quantity from here and then we can see the total quantity. We can add fee, we can add products, we can add shipping. And finally, when we're ready, we can click on save changes and then we can send to email or send to email and conversation that can be viewed in their account section. So that is how the request a code and conversation feature works. Okay, so after it's done, you can um, click on resolve and this will be resolved. Now there's another feature that I want to show you is the sub accounts. So if we go to my account section, here you and your registered users can see this sub accounts option. So we already enabled this add on previously. Now, if we go to the sub account, we can create a sub account and here we can add in a name, username, email, password, job title, and phone number. 
So let's go ahead and fill all these up. All right, so we filled all these up and now we can give them the privilege of placing an order, view all account orders, view all account conversations, view all account purchase list, order approval required. So you can choose what will be the abilities of this sub account. All right, so we changed the email and now let's click on create sub account. And now we can see that our sub account has been created. In this way, you can create several sub accounts. Now there's also the wallet feature so if we go to wholesale x and click on add-ons and if we enable the wholesale x wallet you can see you can enable refund you can enable partial payment you can also take a look at the other settings so after you save this the wholesale x wallet will be available all right now we have enabled this now if we go to the woocommerce settings and go to payments we can see the wholesale x wallet option over here from this section we can enable it and now the wholesale x wallet will be working now after enabling we can visit our site and go to our account section and we can view our wholesale x wallet over here now since we have no data over here it will be difficult to show but your users will be able to look at their wallet balance will be able to add balance will be able to see the transaction pending request from sub accounts so all this will be available so this is a great feature for you to have finally what i wanted to show you was the dynamic rule so if we go to wholesale x and go to dynamic rules and over here if we create a new dynamic rule I'm going to call it total purchase discount and we can apply um, card discount for example and then we can choose all registered users and we can choose all products from here we can choose a percentage and let's give them a 15 percent discount now let's take a look at the condition that i told you about so these user order count and total purchase amount these are two conditions that's only available in the wholesale x pro so we're going to select the total purchase amount and from here we can choose the operator which is greater than or equals to you can choose any operator you want and the amount will be $500 so if our users total card quantity is equals to or greater than $500 they are going to receive this 15% discount and if you want you can also add new conditions but we just want to see if this is working so we are going to go up click on save okay after we create this we can enable it from here all right it's enabled now let's visit our store and now let's purchase this product we're going to add 20 of these to cart now if we view our cart and here you can see the subtotal is 864 dollars and now we get the 15 percent discount which deducts 129 dollars and 60 cents and the final amount is 734 dollars so that is how you can use the conditions in dynamic rules okay so now let's remove this and now let's get back to our site so basically, that is how you can use Wholesale X to add wholesale and B2B features to your e-commerce site. And you can also add the bulk order feature on your e-commerce site as well. So if you want to learn more about Wholesale X and how you can add wholesale and B2B features on your e-commerce website, we have a tutorial on that topic. We will put it in the video description so you guys can check it out. We hope that this video was helpful for you guys. If you guys found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful videos on WordPress. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.